Welcome to yet another episode of Art and Soul with me, Melissa Award, right here on City TV. And today we're going to be exploring the artistry of sculpture making, statues. If you travel around Ghana, you will see that we are not short of statues that deliver the message and the pictorial visual artistry of some of our great leaders. You don't want to miss this. Stick around. This is Art and Soul. soul art and soul. The art of sculpting has been around for centuries. Today, we are looking at sculpting right here in Ghana. So, in case you're wondering why I'm just sitting here, I don't really have anything in my hand, I'm just poised, well, basically, I'm getting my sculpture made. I hope that's the correct term, but we're going to find out what all the terminology is when we meet. Right now, we're going to meet the man behind so many amazing sculptures. You will see them. You might not know his face, but you definitely know some of his works. He is Stephen Alote of Alloscope Studios. And I'm right here at Alloscope Studios. This is super exciting. And he's actually making a mold of me right now. Stephen, how is it going? Oh, it's going good. It's going good. It's See, going great. I'm going to try not to distract you, but we're going to have a conversation because, yeah, there's so much to learn. So right now, you're making a sculpture of me. Mm -hmm. And uh, how's it going? Am I looking good? Yeah, yeah. It's going well. Yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah. first things... I'm a good model. I'm a good model. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Yay! Um, okay, so first things first. So we're in your studio right now. I want to know, first of all, did you build the studio yourself? Well, it was done, I made some renovations. You made some renovations yeah. to suit you. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. I want to ask, do people realize or recognize that you're behind some of the works that we see in and around Ghana? Yeah. Or do, are they taken by surprise? Yeah, they are taken by surprise. Yeah. yeah. Because I go to some places and I tell them I'm a sculptor. They would like to know some of the things I've done. And when I tell them, they're like, aha. Yeah. And they are surprised about it. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about maybe your routine or how you get into sculpting. So do people come to you with requests or do you just get up in the morning and have an idea and just go for it? Tell me about how yeah, that works. It happens, it happens on both sides. Sometimes you need to go and bid for some contracts yeah. or some offers, you know, some of the time you still have to do something for someone to be amazed and pleased with. Yeah. But do you get phone calls too? Oh, sure, I yeah. do get phone calls. I get phone calls from people who want me to do you know, social media, with the help of social media, Facebook, people mention me on people's pages when yeah. they bring up some structure wise and we were able to meet their need. Right. So something like this, so you're doing, what's the correct term? Are you doing, are I'm you modeling? I'm modeling. modeling. Yeah, I'm modeling. Okay. With clay. Okay. Like so take us through the actual steps. Uh, in the sculpture, I mean, what I'm doing, I'm modeling you. Uh, this is a live model. Yeah. You are the model, mm -hmm. and I'm doing the modeling. Mm -hmm. So I'm using clay to get your representation inside. After, if I want to feather it, I can either take more and cast in any material form, mm -hmm. like concrete, plaster, as POP, mm -hmm. or maybe for glass. Mm -hmm. So, from there, you can choose to give it any finishing that you want to give it, depending on the client's taste. And maybe you give it a bronze finish or metal, some kind of metallic finish, okay. antique, or perhaps a real design. Those of my those are the little background of painting that I have. I fuse them to it and it goes on me. Yeah. So if somebody Okay, say for instance, I come to you and I say, I want um, a, a statue of my sister for her birthday, or I want you to model her face. Does my sister have to come and sit in front of you, or can I send a picture? What, what do you prefer when you're working? Well, most of the time, it depends on the clients, you know. Mm -hmm. 
if your sister is available, you can come and take shots of your sister. If not, she wants to come like this while you are sitting down and make it interesting, you are also ready to do that. So it works in both sides. Both sides, mm -hmm. okay. So what has been the most challenging project you've had so far? Well, the most challenging project is the, the ideal vigilance and I think that, yeah, it's, it's an ego. I got an ego on the globe for... Seen that. Yeah. Very nice. For the research department, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And the time they called me and the time they needed the work, very crucial, you know. I needed much time, but the time was so close, so I, I need to work faster and get more hands to get the work done on the date they want yeah. to launch the work. Well, how, how, what was the timeline? How, how much well, it, time it, it, did you it have? Was within three weeks. Wow. Yeah. And you know, that work is it's a very huge work. Yeah, uh, yeah I saw it. <laughs> it's a very huge work. And it needs at least two months to work. Wow, and you wow. did it in three, three weeks? weeks. So, so I didn't do that alone. Okay. I have to call in people to come yeah. and go just to miss the time. So you didn't sleep? At all. At all. I need to get some extra lighting wow. to enhance the work there. That's amazing. But you you did it. Sure. You, you, man, you managed to do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so where are you taking, I mean, where do you want your work to go? I mean, do you want it to be this global exposure? Or do you want it specific for the local Ghanaian market? Do you want Ghanaians to just own it? Or where, where are you taking oh, this? Yeah, I don't have any special target market or target place or people I want to do my surface for. My surface is for everybody, okay. anybody, anywhere in the world. So it's less a global thing, okay. global. Yes. Okay. So do you think Ghanaians, do you think we appreciate the art of sculpture? And do you think we appreciate what you do? Or are we still yet to understand and be educated on it? Yeah, we need to get some understanding. I think people don't recognize, but I don't blame the people so much because in our education system, when, we were, when I was growing up, art wasn't part of our syllabus. Mm -hmm. We're not doing art at all. Okay. So, immediately they see you doing art, they feel it's not a curriculum subject or something, so they refuse you. By the wow. time you go to the cinema to draw, and they come and whip you, and my parents come wow. and follow you, chase you. But it's, it's all about the passion. If we want to appreciate them, we should, we should take it right from the basic level, you know, from the basic school. That's where the development and so I think now they've introduced creative arts, like I think but you need to put in more attention. Give more attention. Don't go anywhere, you are tuned into Art and Soul. You're hanging out with myself and Stephen Alate of Allo Sculpt Studios. We'll be right back. Spice up your mornings with culturally enriched conversations, social interviews, and policy-oriented discussions that will keep you updated on the progress of the nation. But I think that the general uh, demeanor and posturing of our police force, even when it comes to these things, needs to be spoken about. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Let your voice be heard with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV. Every Thursday night on City TV, you're welcome to join women from different backgrounds and opinions as they weigh in on your relationship issues. Watch Sister Sister as the ladies get real with issues about love, marriage, betrayal, sex, dating, trust, finances, and more. Thank My you. dear, know your value to all the women. We are a strong force. Look, if you know your value, you can get your husband or your man to kneel before you. Hey, In fact, he will kneel. If you, you know your value. Preach, hey. yeah. No, if you know your value. Don't drop those you know, Why you not? Somebody, don't drop those naked. Do you? Join Jessica and her sisters for City TV's All Women Talk Show, Sister Sister, every Thursday at 9 p.m. The 
the arts in general and sculpture. But when it comes to sculpture, you know, it's, it's, it's a different thing altogether. Right? Sculpture is not easy. It, 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 yeah. it uh, entails some kind of energy and attention. You know, you, 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 you need to put in more efforts, as in physical energy. You know, yeah. It's very difficult making police or police sculptures. So people don't usually try to it. Well, so I remember when we went to school, our uh, department in the school, uh, Takai Technical University, our department was the list number uh. in, in sculpture. When it comes to sculpture, people, when you ask them why, you know, they say it's too dirty, they don't like a sign, you know, we always play, we are in the studio, we in the sun, and we are always dirty, that's how they wow. see it. So they don't enjoy it. So they don't even see it as art, they just see no, it as. They recognize it as art. Okay. You know, when the finishing product comes out, right. when we go for exhibitions, departmental exhibitions, and they come to our stand yeah. they, they, they see what like, wow. goes into their like, yeah. wow. but for them to venture into it is kind of scared wow. they're very scared interesting so you mentioned something about um uh, you know, requiring a sort of energy, and so let's talk about that. So, um, motivation. So we can hear some music in the background. What motivates you? What is pushing you? Do you have to put on a certain playlist? You have to have the right type of weather for you. What motivates you when you're getting ready to do a project? Well, for the motivation, it, it, it comes from my environment. The environment that I find myself to work. That the first thing that comes in mind because I need a cool and quiet environment with my music that comes in. Many music as well. I, I, I usually listen to Shatawale songs most of the time. Okay. Because working and listening to his music, people usually don't recognize his songs because they don't pay attention to what he says in it. Oh, okay. I don't know whether he's about him doing a dance or other, otherwise. But listening to his music and where he has come from and where he is now is some kind of whole motivation to me and myself as an artist. Hmm. I take inspiration from him a lot. Yeah. So when you take time to listen to him well, you, you get to know and understand what he's trying to put across. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And then you recently did a special project that went viral. That went viral. What was your response when you saw people's responses? <laughs> you know, after the project, the Eagle and the Globe project, mm -hmm. And it is time to rest, you know. So I was resting. I, I've been indoor for a very long time because I've used a lot of it. I need to regain my energy. Right. Yeah. So I was inside. I said, "Oh, why not? Let me come to the studio and do something." I said, "Okay." I've been saying, "Well, for for the for the image of Shatawale, I have him in mind about three years ago. Oh wow! I even dreamt of, of doing him, doing his work, but as to the kind of work." I've done for him, I don't know yet. Right. So I even went on getting some unique materials that I'll use for his work. Up to now, the materials are there, I've not touched the materials oh, yet. Wow. Yes. So I came to the studio, I said, oh, let me get some clay and put something on board. So later I did it. You know, I didn't, I was actually trying to work and bring the details of him, like making the representation of him perfectly, you know. Like a real portrait of him. Right. But I go to a stage and I say, ah, what am I doing? Why am I worrying myself? Who has, who have asked me to do something? I said, okay, let me try and change it a little bit. So I, a caricature idea came in mind. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just switched the clay to the caricature form. Yeah. After that, I just put it on Facebook and to see the reaction of people. So when I put the the likes will come pop, 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 the comments. Sharing, and I was like, Wow, this thing is really. I don't know whether it is for him being a personality or is the nature of the work itself. Right, right. You, know? you can't tell just can't yet. Tell. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, it got all those reactions. Sure, sure. And it went to Twitter as well. I was looking and I was like, Oh, wow. I mean, I'd saw it, I'd seen it. And then I saw it eventually got to Twitter and some people that I know um, in the industry, uh, you know, mm -hmm. started circulating. And I said, wow. And then come to find out that it's not yet the finished product. It's so, not. but I think maybe some people don't realize that yet. They don't, if they don't understand sculpting, maybe they think that's the finished product. No, it's, it's not a finished product. Right. It, it, it's the process. But, you know, with, with sculpture, you can do the work this way and you, you can leave it tattered, you know, rough. Yeah. And leave it as it's from them as finished. Yeah. 
people see it to be exaggerated, you know, elongation of ears and mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that's got that's got to do with caricature. Yeah. Yeah. So I was I feel the caricature into the sculpture to elongate it, some of his parts and some of the vital parts of him that people used to use against him mm. to put them out to see how people will react to it. Wow. And the reaction people were giving me the feedback somewhere because I knew what I was doing. I, I'm not deterred at all. They said I'll not go to heaven. I'll not be back. It's just wow. like they, they, they don't know or understand the caricature. Yeah. So it's, it's also a way of letting people know what caricature means. Educating meant, you know, them. Educating them. Yeah, so. absolutely. So it has also educated a lot of people as well. People ask me, why did I do this? And I told them, an ambition of this past is for a caricature state, yeah. a cartoon effect. Wow. Awesome. You know what? I know that you're itching to get back into sculpting sculpting me so i'm going to let you do that and then we'll come back and have more of a conversation because i still have a bunch of questions to ask you sure, sure. this is so oh, interesting yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. so you guys hey listen i hope you're getting educated because i am so we're learning about caricature and and what it takes to get in the zone and in the mood and so i need to get in the zone to become the perfect model so that steven can finish my sculpture so don't go anywhere you are tuned into art and soul you're hanging out with myself and steven alote of allo sculpt studios we'll be right back art and soul art soul art and soul art yeah soul Spend 30 minutes every weekday catching up with all the trending social media conversations of the day. If you tweet it, we'll read it. We might just even Skype you. 30 minutes is all it takes, so use the hashtag 30minutes on social media to catch our attention. Join the most interactive social media TV show weekdays at 5 p.m. only on City TV. Welcome back. You are still tuned in to Art and Soul with myself, Melissa Rod, right here on City TV. So, Stephen, we're back. I'm going to let you work because I know you have to finish this sculpture, but I just have a few more questions. So as you work, I'm just going to ask you, who has motivated you, encouraged you, inspired you to get to where you are right now? Well, when it comes to that level, first and foremost, it's God. That's been our help from day one. So now, we need to, people have looked at me. Like, the one who introduced me to the art itself mm -hmm. is my master, I call him master, he's late. He's so rest in peace. We call him Ophamus. Yeah. He introduced me to the art just after JHS. And that has kept me until now. I also look up to some few teachers I've met here and there in school, from Kata College of Arts to Prita Technical Institute, then back to Takari Technical University, before I was with uh, The lectures there, they've, they've been very strong sort of motivation for me. And people have also worked under them as intention. That's uh, on October 4th. I don't know if you know him. He did a slavery, you know, you know, a thousand heads. Wow. Heads. So, a couple of them, not for waiting. And I'm going to go to Sonica, of Ascent and Arts. My family members. They keep him going. My father, forget my father, yeah. <laughs> you know, my father did not stop me from going pursuing the arts. You know, some people are along the line. One or two uncles of mine were like, why are you doing art? Why, why is art taking you? 
you know, get anything from it. They said to change the art and do something else. Wow. Uh, father didn't, didn't look down on me. You know, he, was, he, was, he, was, he supported he was, you. Yeah. How important is that? To have the support of your parents when it comes to your passion. It's very, very, very exciting and effective. It's because, you know, they are your support and everything. So maybe they give you the go ahead. It gives you a free and clear mind to pursue whatever you want to do. You know, to continue or further a passion or a, a career, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. It takes some kind of passion and perseverance before you can reach to where I'm still learning and how to learn more. So people who are doing the arts, especially like we young ones who are coming out, the young ones that, that are behind me, just want to tell them that they should just focus on what they want to do. If this is what they want to do. They shouldn't, they shouldn't let anybody discourage them. You know, they should be their own motivation. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> wow. wow. I'm going to leave you to work for a little bit because I'm actually very excited to see what I look like. Um, earlier, before, you know, cameras were rolling, you said I have, this is the smallest face <laughs> that you've worked on and that you've worked on children who have bigger features mm -hmm. than me. So I don't know how to take it, but you know what? Thank you. So we're going to let him work for a little bit on my small face, apparently. <laughs> Steven, so I have the last question for you. Let's talk about safety, because you're in a, well, you're in a, a secure space, but it's open, open enough. So let's talk about safety. You're using tools, sharp objects, things of that nature, um, and obviously you have people that assist you. Um, so just tell us some of the safety things. I mean, if someone was to want to get into um, sculpting, you know, what are the safety things that they should be aware of, and how you also practice it? When it comes to safety, when you are in the studio working, you know, I did a little bit of safety, health and safety. And I did a little bit of health and safety. And yeah, when you are working with machines, I work with machines and chemicals. You know, okay. the reason you need to get a nose mask mm -hmm. or a nose respirator. When you are working at the studio, you need to be very focused and Especially when you're working with machines and equipment. Because the slight mistake will be cause damage. Mm. So when you work with electricity and you need, you need to gear up when you're working. But with the clay, you can be even in your room and manually with the clay. Mm. You have any special safety. But after, you need to just wash your hands. Yeah. Yeah. To prevent you know, worms into your fingers and stuff. Oh wow, okay. So then as far as using tools and things, what should people be aware of? I mean, 
um, cleaning their tools? Because people may think, well, you're just you touching clay. I mean, how necessary is it? No, no, no. To you, can, you need to clean them. Okay. How uh, often? I, oh, just after work. Just work, clean after them, work. Clean them. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Stephen, it's been enjoyable. So I'm going to just let you finish. Take your time. Make sure everything is even. I trust you. You are the sculpture man. <laughs> So there you have it, yeah, another episode right here with Art and Soul. And I've been talking to Stephen Alote of Allo Sculpt Studio. And he is currently right now actually sculpting um, a clay version of me. Yes, I'm super excited. I am. You can check him out, guys. Go online, check him out, Allo Sculpt Studio, and check out his works. You've probably seen them around, but this is the man behind some amazing, amazing projects. Don't forget to tune in next time. We are exploring the artistry right here in Ghana, right here for you guys. My name is Melissa Rawad. This is City TV. I'll see you next time. So